Right, you see this? This is like a hand, these are handles here that you hold on to when you're climbing over the stile. They really are nice and firm. I'm sat on the stile, but here are the handles. Here and here. Somebody's actually thought of that. Um, somebody's actually thought of that when they've designed the style. Thought of having something to hold on to. You can do it the other way, but I remembered that bit from before. Just little features, little bits of architecture in the countryside. I'm sorry if I'm sniffing. My nose has been running since I got up this morning. But the bloke downstairs was cooking strong onions. So he likes doing that and it seems to set me off sometimes. So there's the style. I came up from Draycott there. Okay, right in the far distance I can see Brent Knoll. I'm following this lower path. If you go straight up there, you can go to... There's two styles. <clears throat> one to take you one side of the copse and the cottage. And the other one takes you straight into the Stoke camp. Where the one of the Iron Age forts around here is located. And which I visited last week. On the 3rd of February. So at the moment I can see sheep. Sheep are out. When I was up on the hill fort, this, this one here, I did see evidence, lots and lots of evidence of cow. There was lots of footprints, hoof prints, there was uh, the old cow pack. So I think they had been in there very recently when I visited. I'm hoping to perhaps do another quick visit in sunshine but I, I'm, at the moment I'm aiming for the other camp at Westbury and uh, I'm, I'm gonna, there's a stile and a gate up here further which I'm going to go through which I reached on one of my walks last year and said I must really come out here I must really come out here and video a walk through the uh, the Stoke Camp Nature Reserve over to the Westbury Hill Fort, which I have visited before. And there is a, I've got a feeling there is some information when you get over there. And a hut, a type of Nissen hut is located. There are more plaques. <coughs> so folks, There'll be a bit of an old barn just ahead of me here, but the sun is right in my face. Um, I explored all that. That's like a water hole there. Um, that surrounding there, that's just like a hole there. Um, I could go up there again, I suppose. Otherwise people will have to hunt round for your videos from a year ago. And all around here it's humpy bumpy land. All surface mining, I expect, and all to do with the past as well. The very, very distant past. So it's the 11th of February already, everyone. Now this is an open... Well, I say open... It's a watering hole, but uh, the gentle slope is there and there. So, don't quite know how the cows are supposed to work that out. There's a sheep up there. Draycott's lights. Good day? No, I don't know if it's a good day for gliding today because it's not very windy at the moment. If you go down there, there is also signposts down to the village. There are other ways to get up here. And I might eventually explore them in time, but not all today. The ruins are coming up, and right behind it in the distance is Glastonbury Tor again. On guard duty as usual, but in the mist. It's because the sun... Difficult to photograph it when you've got the sun right right in front of you in line with the tour very difficult to video 
but what a change to have some really good blue sky. I mean, we're not spoiled because basically we, this is just, the window is today and you just got to do it. You put everything on hold. If you're doing something, you just drop it and you get out. There's the old barn ruin. It could have been a home once. That could easily have been a home. I'm just going to turn off and take some photos and I'll be back on. But like I said, there's a style and signposts down there for different routes. It takes a while to build up your knowledge. Because you've got to get out here, you've got to climb up here. Um, you can't see it all at once. You probably can when you're 20 because you can run it. Right, over and out a minute. Right up there. Behind those trees, that's the... Stoke Camp, uni valeted hill fort there, which I was on a week ago. They got sights again. And I'm going to, so there's a gate down there, very heavily signposted, so I'd like to know what exactly what it says, but I'm not going to go down there because I, I want to get on. Glastonbury's right in the distance. I just came up a little bit. Where I'm going to be going in a minute, I've never gone before. I've been over the stile there and just read the plaque. But I never actually followed that route that day. There's a gate here. I'm very tempted to go and read that sign. If my viewfinder was working properly, I'd better zoom in and read it from here. Tell the truth. But uh, I don't think I'll be able to. I will want to get home and I have the video. If I could um, get it stop to stop being a kaleidoscope, this thing. I think I put it all out of sync now. I'm just going to turn off for a minute. All right, folks, I came all the way down the the very steep, muddy track. Be easier going up, I think. But apparently, there isn't a regular route through there. But I think I can see a path. But I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm going to go back up and go through the Stoke camp because I for, for a minute I thought I thought I'd be able to go through there somehow right I'm gonna go in there's a farmer coming I just met a nice couple that of villagers they told me the only other way was to go up the road. I thought, oh, I'm doing that. I remember that road. <coughs> Let's have a look. You are here. Yeah. There ain't really, is there? No. Right, I'm going to turn off, going up. Right, folks, I'm back. I had to climb back up it anyway in the end. It isn't actually very far, it's just a bit steep. But they said the other route would have been steeper. And I'd have to have gone on a road. That's the people I met. So here I am, back up again. It's a learning curve. A steep learning curve. I had this feeling, you know. When I seen it going straight down and it won't follow in that bit, I thought then, it's a mistake, I'd have to go up. Still. <coughs> Not to worry. Not to worry. Those people got up it quick. But they were locals, so they're probably used to it. You can get used to your own hills. 
but there's not a sign of them. No, they really shot off. I've now got to go back up near where I was before, but on the lower path. <sighs> yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, those people, they've, they've gone. They're going to the slates. And they call them slates. Or sleets or something, they call them. Minute. Let me just put that there while I get over this stile a minute, because it's an awkward one. It's narrow. <sighs> Never mind, it's a learning curve. I still reckon there would have been another way up through the wood. I reckon there would have been. But they did point out a wall, which I can remember. <sighs> They'll probably be right here from that avenue of trees now. Those people, they were probably my age, but they look very fit. <sighs> right, I'm going to turn off now until I get up there. I'm heading for over there, you know. <sighs> That's probably took half an hour of me, of me time. But it was a half an hour that was worth doing because I do need to explore these routes. I'm just glad I never went down there. Right, over and out a minute. We're heading for Stoke Camp. And I'm hoping, I know, I saw a path leading to the Westbury one. <sighs> so, here we go again. Over and out.